So, Jeff, so tell me how Knoxville was growing up, bro. Small town, as you know. Everybody know everybody. Go to school, do your work, play sports, sports and sports, yeah. it was all sports. Remember a couple of times where I didn't get picked because I was too small. I think that's why I'm where I'm at today, just because of competing at an early age. You know how it is, Mississippi. Like, you appreciate where you come from. How big a role is high school football in Mississippi? I don't have a vocabulary big enough to describe how big it is. Friday night, if you want to rob the bank, it'd be a good time, because everybody's here. The first two names you heard about were A.J. Brown and Jeffrey Simmons. Knoxville is an ultra-competitive program, and Jeffrey was right at the forefront of that. On the other end, you had Starkville High School when A.J. Brown was at the forefront of that. There's no way that A.J. Brown is going to hold a press conference and announce in front of God and everybody that he's going to own this. The place exploded. Bulldogs are tough, they're tenacious, one of the most loving dogs there are. Do you think that kind of symbolizes what Jeffrey is like on and off the field? The bulldog mentality is Jefferson. When it came to Mississippi State and Ole Miss, it was who won the Egg Bowl. I think if you take that word heat and you adjust the letters around a little bit to hate, I think that's probably a little bit more of what we're talking about. The Egg Bowl rivalry is unlike any other rivalry in college sports. It's unhealthy, but it's just a fact of life. They exchanged some words at times when they were in college. Everybody was either a diehard A.J. Brown fan or a diehard Jeffrey Simmons fan. You get to the NFL draft and it's like, wait, <laughs> these guys, they're, they're going to coexist now. The Tennessee Titans select A.J. Brown. You can come from rural Mississippi and you can make it anywhere.